what is the formula for exchange ratio target share price divided by acquirer share price there is a separate formula for net assets calculation eps calculation and your market price calculation to calculate that net assets what is the formula total assets minus total liabilities so what is the formula for market price price to earning ratio into eps price to earning ratio is given in the question but eps is not given in the question Hello everybody I am your Divya ma'am assistant professor from department of commerce and management lecturing vidyashram first grade college mysuru the temple of excellence it's my honor and privilege to welcome you all for the session 3 on your unit 4 merger and acquisition so without wasting much of our time let us discuss the topic for today's discussion moving forward the agenda for today's discussion problems on exchange ratio my dear students in the last class we have discussed the problems on price to earning ratio and we have discussed the formulas as well in today's class we'll take up the problems on exchange ratio so without wasting much of our time let's start the class read out the question my dear students calculate the exchange ratio in case of below merger based on eps proportion so what we need to calculate we need to calculate the exchange ratio in case of below merger so merger has happened between mango limited and apple limited mango limited is a acquirer company and the apple limited is a target company so we need to calculate the exchange ratio based on eps proportion so earning to price is not given in the question we need to calculate so eps proportion is not given in the question we need to calculate that number of shares 1000 share mango limited apple limited 50000 share price is how much 150 Profit after tax P A T that is sixty seven lakh and fifty four lakh fifty thousand. So your E P S calculation. So what is the formula? In the last class we have discussed the E P S formula as well, my dear students. So it is nothing but profit after tax divided by number of shares. So what is the formula for exchange ratio? Target. share price divided by acquirer share price as i have told you target company is a company which will be merged with the other company for example here in the problem mango is a acquirer so mango company will acquire apple company so apple company is a target company so apple company will be merged with mango limited so target share price divided by acquirer share price that's the formula so eps as i have told you profit after tax is given what is the profit after tax 67 lakh divided by what is the number of shares 1000 shares 67 per share similarly we are doing for the apple company apple limited 54 lakhs is the profit after tax divided by 50000 is the total number of shares the answer will be 109 per share so target companies share price is how much that is earnings per share what is the per share value of target company 109 similarly mango company 67 so if we are substituting the values to the formula will get exchange ratio that is 1.62 so this is how you calculate your exchange ratio this is based on eps valuation based on eps similarly we have taken problem number 2 so from the details given below calculate the exchange ratio so what is the values given in the question profit after tax and number of shares profit after tax 25 lakhs and 30 lakhs number of shares is 40000 and 50000 moving forward first we need to calculate the eps if you wanted to understand and calculate your exchange ratio exchange ratio formula target share price divided by acquirer share price your y company is a company which is merging with x company so this is acquire company and this is target company so how will you get to know that which is a acquire company or a target company the question itself they will ask you in your examination which is a target company which is the acquirer company so 
calculation of eps profit after tax divided by shares similarly whatever the values which have given in the previous slide we are substituting as per the formula profit after tax 62.5 per share 60 per share similarly we are substituting it the value we got is 1.04 times moving forward Problem number three, based on the information given below, calculate the exchange ratio based on net asset method. Simply, we, we were calculating the valuation based on EPS calculation as well as your market price. But in now, we are calculating the problems based on your net assets method. So, what is the formula? There is a separate formula for net assets calculation, EPS calculation and your market price calculation for all that exchange ratios formula will be different so for each and every problem the formula goes on changing so kindly note those formulas particulars mango limited and apple limited fixed assets current assets 13 percent debentures we have credit so fixed assets and current assets belong to the category of assets and your 13 percent debenture and credit are is nothing but your liability so keep this in mind what is this? It's a liabilities. Moving forward. So what is the exchange ratio formula? Acquire company target net assets divided by acquirer net assets. So that is the formula for exchange ratio. To calculate that net assets, what is the formula? Total assets minus total liabilities. So what is the assets we have? Assets we have is Mango Limited. 2,50,000, 1,50,000, we have taken the 2,50,000 and 1,50,000. Next, we have how much? Liabilities, 2,50,000. So, we have taken that 2 lakh and liabilities, 2,50,000, we have taken that. So, 50,000 and your 1 lakh will be your what? Assets, that is net assets of Mango Limited and net assets of Apple limited. So, if you substitute the values, you will get your answer that is 2 is the exchange ratio that you get. So, target companies net assets divided by acquire company net assets. Target company is Apple as I have told you and Mango is a acquirer company. So, this is how you calculate your net assets method. So, exchange ratio based on net assets method. So, what is the formula of exchange ratio? Exchange ratio is equal to your target company net assets divided by acquirer net assets. So, to know that net assets, what is the asset of the company? You need to calculate another step that is your formula net assets is equal to your total assets minus total liabilities. If you do that, you will get your net assets. Divide that and substitute the answer. You will get your answer as 2. Exchange ratio is 2. So, this is the calculation based on your net assets method. Moving forward, calculation exchange ratio in case of below takeover based on market price. Now, your formula changes. The formula will be target company market price divided by acquirer company market price. So, let us understand the question. Number of shares is given 1,50,000. Profit after tax is given and price to earning ratio is given. So, with the available information, we need to calculate what? Your market price exchange ratio based on market price. Moving forward, what is the formula of exchange ratio for market price calculation? Target market price divided by acquirer company market price. Market price, it is not given in the question. We need to calculate the market price. What is the formula for market price? Price to earning ratio into EPS. Price to earning ratio is given in the question, but EPS is not given in the question. EPS, what is the formula to calculate? Your profit after tax divided by number of shares. So, profit after tax, 20 lakh and 12 lakh 50,000. Number of shares, 1 lakh and 50,000. X limited is a transfer limited. Y limited is a target company. X limited is a acquire a company and Y limited is a target company. So, 20 and 25 will be the earnings per share. If you substitute the values, you will get your market price with the 
market price you are substituting the values to the exchange ratio formula exchange ratio is equal to target market price divided by acquirer market price target mar target company market price is how many 250 it is 250 similarly it is 100 for acquire company market price if you do it the answer you get is the exchange ratio is 2.5 so this is the calculation of exchange ratio based on market price valuation moving forward calculate exchange ratio of the following based on net assets valuation method following are the information given fixed assets current assets debenture your preference shares ps preference shares so 12 1 lakh 20 thousand 35 thousand x companies are acquirer company y companies are target company current assets is given in the question if you add this to you will get your total assets what you will get you will get your total assets similarly if you do it your debenture and preference shares you will get your total liabilities so this is your number of shares moving forward we need to calculate what we need to calculate exchange ratio what is the formula my dear students exchange ratio is equal to your target company net assets divided by acquire a company net assets so net assets in order to calculate the net assets there's a formula what's the formula total assets minus total liabilities so your x company's assets and liabilities net assets will be 1,36,000, your Y company net assets 61,000 and your 5,000 will be your liabilities, 56,000 is the net assets of Y company. If you are substituting the values, you will get your answer 56 lakh and 1,36,000. So, 0.41 is your exchange ratio. So, this is how you calculate your exchange ratio. That's it my dear students for today's class. Hope the class was very interesting and fruitful. So in today's class what all we have learned? We have learned about calculation of net assets, exchange ratio calculation based on net assets, based on EPS, based on your market price valuation. So all this things are separately learned in a formula. So in the next class, in the next class in the single problem all the formulas will be put in and then it will be calculated so that will be asked for 10 marks in your examination so smile is the biggest jewel you can wear keep smiling people thank you